Today, I thought I would talk about what do data engineers do. Because whenever I'm asked that question, I admit I always have some trouble answering it. Because data engineers do a lot of things, and it's constantly changing by the industry. Are we support for data scientists? Are we a subset of backend engineering? Are we glorified SQL monkeys? I mean, all of these questions you could argue you can answer yes to, but it's not that simple, and I would say each question side there is incomplete. Now, I've worked as a data engineer for four different companies now, and what's interesting is that every role was quite different, but there were some overall themes to what I did. I've seen data engineers be described as people who develop and maintain a system for storing and sending data. And I guess that's kind of what data engineers do, but I would make that even larger and just say data engineers are responsible for data in a company, full stop. We're responsible for what we should gather, how we should gather, where should we store it, how do we distribute the data, and what do we do with this data given to us. So I'll go through five things that I think data engineers in general should be responsible for, or at least touch upon in their career. So the first thing is pipelines and dashboards. And that's kind of the bread and butter of what data engineers do. We basically take data from one place and send it to another place. Maybe we take the data from many different sources and send it to many different places. And that sounds really simple, but it can be quite complicated because not only do you have to merge the data together in a readable format, you'll have to clean the data, you'll be responsible for the quality of data, you'll be responsible for how fast data can get sent out. Sometimes they want it in real time. And that's gonna require more advanced technologies like streaming. The dashboards part is more of a data visualization role. Um, you might not necessarily be building dashboards, but at the very least, you'll need to be familiar with them because you need to know what the data needs to look like in order to get it visualized in the way that you want for the data analysts or, or scientists or managers who want to see what's going on uh, with the data. Now, this pipeline thing could be done in many different ways. It could be as simple as using Linux, writing Chrome jobs, like scheduled batch jobs written in Bash, uh, or it could be a little more complicated using other technologies like Airflow, um, maybe, maybe even Talend. But this, I think, is the main responsibility for a data engineer. And if that's all you do, that's still a lot because you'll be working with likely lots of different technologies. So you'll need to learn a lot of different things to, to get the flow and orchestration of data working properly. Now, the second thing I would say data engineers are responsible for is data infra. And that's pretty large, just infrastructure of data. Um, and I would categorize things like privacy and data governance under that. And that's becoming more and more important these days. So that in itself is a is a, is a huge responsibility. So when I say data infrastructure, I guess what I'm saying is maybe you are building up the system like Airflow. And that's going to require not only knowing how to program with um, Airflow, you also have to be familiar with DevOps, like how do we host these services? Um, how do we host a Spark cluster and build some sort of pipeline in it? And you want to build, I guess, frameworks for that other, so that other people can build pipelines uh, inside of this infrastructure as well. You could even categorize people that actually code things like Spark, the backend programming for that as a data engineer. But I don't think those guys particularly like being called data engineers. Um, they consider themselves more software engineers, and that's probably accurate anyway. Now, the third thing I would say data engineers should be at least familiar with is databases. And the reason for that is 
relational databases is still the main way we store data and query data and 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 and, and work with it. Um, I've heard for years now how SQL is dead, NoSQL is taking over, uh, we don't need databases anymore, but I haven't seen any end to database usage. So I think you at least have to be familiar with what an entity um, is, what a relationship is, what sort of different data types are there inside of a database, uh, as well as like what are indexes, how do you host a database on the cloud, things like that. Because if you, especially if you're working for a small or mid-sized company, very likely you'll be working with a database. So, so um, yeah, so data engineers, I think are, um, it, it's a requirement that you know at least a little bit about databases. The fourth thing I think data engineers do, or at least should do, is data science or the analytics. And there's even a new role kind of being developed called full stack data scientist, which is basically a hybrid role of a data engineer and data scientist. And the reason for that is as analytics and machine learning keeps growing and the usages and different use cases for them like keep expanding. At the very least, data engineers should know high level how data science can help a company. Because like I said before, if you're trying to answer what should we do with this data, you'll have to know, well, how do we process data and say, make some sort of prediction or what sort of supervised and unsupervised learning can we do on the data to add some value to this company? And after that, maybe we can take some action because it's not going to be much use if all we do is store the data for operational purposes, if we can't get, gain any insight from it. Final thing I want to say is data engineers should work with API development. And that's probably controversial. Like, I don't know that many data engineers that do this, but uh, the reason I say that is because oftentimes people want data, right? And they'll have to get that from different places and they can't just do that querying a database. Um, say that you need to hit some other service to get some data um, and then you need to get merge that data with some other data that you have inside your company. Um, so that's, it's kind of hard to do using only databases. So with API development, that makes it a lot easier for you to develop something more real time where somebody could make a request into your API um, program and then you could send them back the data that they need or make some sort of change to the data inside inside what you uh, inside the company somehow uh, this I think is getting larger and larger traction I'm not quite sure if it's really considered a data engineer job yet but I personally believe it should be because um, it, it's interconnected with how people want to gain data and and do something with it yeah, so I, I would say those five things are the main things data engineers do. And I do want to have make a quick disclaimer and say, I am not an expert. This is just my opinion and from my experience. And more importantly, things can change very quickly. Um, this data engineer role, when it was first kind of thought of, people didn't really know what to do with it. Like, are these guys database admins? It's just like a fancy word for that. Um, but it's kept on expanding more and more. Um, and I think it kind of came out of the work that data scientists had to deal with, having to always work with pipelines and clean data and, and do all the massaging. And so sort of this role sort of popped up, right? But nowadays it's expanding more and more because um, data engineers roles, because it's so malleable, you can do a lot of different things. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna end the video there. You know, ultimately, I don't know if I really answered my own question. I still don't 100% know what data engineers should do or, or really do. And with my career development, one of the reasons I continue to learn lead code and programming is because I am well aware that data engineers need to be flexible and, and be able to do lots of different things, not just write SQL queries. All right, so I'm gonna end it there. Thanks for watching my channel and remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.